ಓಂಬುಜ ಶ್ಯಾಮಲ ಕೋಮಲಂಗ ಸೀತಾ ಸಮಾರೋಪಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ಪಾಣೌ ಮಹಾಸಾಯಗ ಚಾರು ಚಾಪ ನಮಿ ರಾಮ ರಘುವಂಶನಾಥ ರೊಡೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ ಹೂಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಬ್ಲೂ ಲೋಟಸ್ very tender and delightful in appearance sita is seated on his left side is carrying powerful bow and arrow in his hands shri ram charitmanas in ayodhya kand and we are with verse number 211 onwards in a story line bharata and all his party are with are in the ashram of sage bharadwaj and there bharata expresses his feelings referring to his yearning to meet rama and confer on rama the throne of ayodhya verse 211 ajin vasan bal phala asana mahi sayan dasi kusapat vasitaru tararnita sahatahim atap varshabat bharatais presenting the picture of rama lakshmana and sita how they are living in a very difficult world of forest they do not have shoes they are in ascetic forms therefore they wear special robes made out of balkal which means like plantains and things of that nature people were very expert to find and they did have to weave anything and they eat fruits and sleep on plain earth is spreading kusha grass and some leaves under trees and every day they are enduring cold heat rain wind and that is what is torturing the heart of bharat that all this happened because of him and when will he meet rama and conferring on him and bring rama back to ayodhya that's a story line which has its own flavor such a mystic line must also be understood without it it will become simply a story mystic line reminding you that kk's plan to give bharata kingdom and send rama into the forest that plan has the role of vichar in your personality the inquiring mind you have everything wonderful but if you remain in in a wonderful state you are a fool because how can you how long can you stay wonderful ultimately everything ends so the inquiring mind starts asking what is the purpose should you be just satisfied with luxury glories of the world eat drink be merry now all that seems so 
pleasant bhargi masses now the inquiring mind upsets that rang mein bhang that's what kai kai did but when that type of thing happens it requires great patience and a great spiritual grace to face the challenges challenges presented by the inquiring mind apparently people become upset by this inquiring process so kai kai is blamed for all this trouble even bharata blames kai kai and considers him himself miserable because he was born of kai kai who sent rama into forest this state of bhakti that's not mature the whole story is to bring to your view the role of bhakti devotion how in the early state your mind deals with so many contradictions along with your bhakti but as bhakti advances things begin to change though he goes on complaining against kai kai he keeps himself under control thinking that if he insulted kai kai in any way he will be hurting ram so thinking of rama he keeps himself under control otherwise he, he was quite angry with his mother kai kai but that's again story line the idea is bhakti movement learns patience endurance and basically how to please rama rama is two aspect of rama's symbolism rama is jnana jnana movement bhakti becomes mature with jnana jnana and bhakti they come they aid each other supplement complement relation but rama movement leading to real absolute rama the moksha liberation now the way he described rama along with lakshmana and sita the description itself has subtle meaning what he describes the rama lakshmana sita they tread their path without shoes and what's more every day they are enduring cold hot rain wind subtle meaning is it points to samavrata of chandogya upanishad spiritual aspirant comes to a state of maturity then he creates a vrata a resolve and that resolve is tapantam nanindet tad vratam if it is too hot don't condemn it pull yourself do everything possible but don't go on keep your whole mind overwhelmed and they start reading to read google how many times this tragedy has come 
and suffer with every tragedy and all the history. I'm joking, but that's what it implies. Tapantam none in there. Every adverse situation sends your mind into a turmoil. Do your best to secure yourself, but understand this world is under divine plan and it has its purpose. So you cannot change the world. Varshantam naninde. And if it rains too much, don't go on complaining. So many you view. Free you. <laughs> don't go and complain. Understand how much that rain is bringing joy to all the trees, birds, and so many things. Ritun Nanindet. Do not condemn change of seasons. Loka not in dates. Do not condemn people. How they follow their religion, how they think, how they behave. Do not just go on and on with research. <laughs> and very practical way, you are always dealing with people around you. Do not condemn all. Be good-hearted. They are providing opportunities to bring out your good-heartedness. And they present the challenge. They are nothing but your own brothers and sisters. All humanity is one family. You don't believe in it. And in one life, not. But in many lives, you have gone through all relations, countless relationships. The entire world is that type of relationship. So therefore, loka nan in death, do not condemn them. Be good, do good. Pashun nan in death, do not condemn animals and birds snakes and spiders. <laughs> don't live a life of condemning. In other words, don't live a life of a mind that is constantly agitated by everything that happens in the world. Rather, Allow your mind to remain calm. Sarvam asmiti upasita. Put your, yourself in their shoes. You can easily say that person should have done that, shouldn't have. But before you start doing that, put yourself in his shoes. And then see how you can behave. I'm also giving allegorical way of saying. In other words, do not spend all your time in criticizing others. They are your own self struggling in different levels. When you are struggling in, a, in your early days, at that time, each time you did some mistake, what did you expect? You would have would have been joyous if someone did not highlight your mistake, but rather encourage you how to correct your mistake. A motherly attitude would have been so wonderful. So if that applies to you, same thing applies to the whole world. If you really want to help them, you have that should you have to develop that type of heart. All are as if myself. 
as in me, as me. Your I am is in all. And while it is at this stage, I'm talking about a form of upasana. But reality is I am Brahman, and Brahman is all that is. Tadvaratam, that's your brata. And that's what Bharata points out. <laughs> Rama, Lakshmana, etc. They are going through all these raids and they are completely intent upon what they have to do. Yehi dukadaha zahai din chati bhukana basara nidana rati Thinking of Rama and his sufferings must realize it's allegorical. Rama is not suffering. But it is bhakti movements need to understand and grow to realize that it is a blessing that Rama was acting the way he was acting. That Bharata comes to realize later. In other words, your bhakti advances more and more if you practice this psalm of Rata. And so Bharata continues to say, this pain of sufferings that Rama is going through, that brings burning sensation in my heart. And that's constant scorching feeling within the heart, day and night. During the day, I don't have hunger. During the night, I have no sleep. You take it literally, Bharata wouldn't exist. <laughs> but people take it literally. There were such divine personalities that they continue to exist. Lakshmana didn't sleep for 12 years and his eyes had no problem. But that's not the message. To build up Lakshmana's eyes and have Bharata's stomach. <laughs> the message to understand subtler meaning. Subtler meaning is that you are In spite of your daily life that goes on with hunger and sleep, the real hunger and sleep is in your deeper level. That never quenches. Rather it goes on growing. And that's the description of aspiration within yourself. Ehi kuroga kara aushadhunahi, so dheun sakalas vishwabhanmana mahi. The resolution, the remedy for this great problem is nowhere do I find in this world. Again, same thing. Liberation is nowhere to be found in the world. The remedy of the troubles of your dream lies only in waking up. Even if you, if you happen to find a remedy within your dream, your remedy is a dream, your doctor is a dream subject. <laughs> so that's not real remedy. You became healthy in your dream and stayed dreaming. So that's the real cure. So in the entire world, there is no remedy. Your disease is mortality. Nowhere in the world process can you find immortality. Matukumat badai adhamula Tehi hamare hit keen basula 
using that allegorical language, Bharata constantly describes mother in a most negatively, ugly way. So, following that, he says, the mother's evil-minded plan is the root cause. She is like a carpenter who created an instrument like a saw or something that you can cut. And that instrument was doing what she thought was good for me. So, Kaikeyi's plan to give kingdom to Bharata. Kaikeyi became the carpenter and this giving to Bharata became the instrument. But it is Katina Kumantru. And this instrument she brought, she built or developed that instrument is being described as it is a the wrong kuyantra, a wrong yantra that created terrible turmoil in the harmony of Ayodhya. and sent Rama, Lakshmana, Sita to forest for 14 years. The words Kuyantra, Kumantra, all these have been used. KK used everything, Mantra, Tantra, Yantra. Mahilagi yahu kutha tu tehi thata Ghalesi sab jagu baraha bata. And for my sake, she did all this ugly deed. For, and she inflicted on the world such a blow that the entire world has gone into twelve directions. In the word Chiddhvinda, scattered to pieces. Twelve directions means your goal is neither in January nor in February, <laughs> nor in March. All twelve months lost. Bharat Bachana Sunimuni Sukhupai, Samahi Kinha Bahu Bhati Badai. Hearing these words of Bharata, which were words of profound love for Rama, love in the making, love in the process of blossoming, Muni Sage Bharadwaja, which is another illustration of a, of a perfect enlightened personality, the sage became very happy. And he praised Bharata. And Tat Karahu Janishochu Visheki Sabdukumitihi Rama Pagadeki. O child, do not grieve too much. The moment you have the darshan of Sri Rama's feet, all miseries will end. Kari Prabho Dhumuni Bara Kahew Atiti Prema Priya Hohu Kanda Moola Pala Poola Hakama Dehi Lehu Kari Chohu And coming to now, being alert to the practical need in a storyline, all the assembly from Ayodhya, Bharata, Queens and all of them need somewhere to live, need their hospitality, they need to have the food, etc. And Bharadwaj now 
turns his attention to giving hospitality to Bharata and all people that came with him. So he says to Bharata that please accept my hospitality and I am going to offer to you all that we can, Kandamul, Satvic food, all types of needs we will be supplying. Suni muni bachana bharata hiye sochu bhaiya uku avasar kathin sakochu Bharata began to think what should he do but under these circumstances of immense love bestowed on him by Bharadwaj Bharata with great shyness accepted whatever Bharadwaj had his plan. Jani Garui Guru Gira Bahori Charana Bandi Bole Karajori. Again, Bharata with folded hands said, Siridhari Aya Sukariya Tumara Paramadharama Yahunata Hamara. Oh, oh, not. Not the Lord. A respectful address given to Bharat, Bharadwaj. He is like Guru. He said, I will do everything that you are asking me to do. Bharat Bachan Muni Maraban Bhaye Shuchi Seva Kashiya Nikat Bulaye The moment Bharadwaja heard that Bharata has agreed to receive his hospitality. He called his servants of his ashram and he tells them, Chahiye keen hi Bharata pahunai, kanda moola phala ana hujai. We are doing, presenting hospitality to great Bharata. He tells his, his disciples, go and find all that is needed, roots, fruits, etc. Bhalehi nāta kahiti na sirenāye, pramudita nididrija kāja sidhāye. Very well. And they went fulfill the command of Bharadwaj. Muni socha pahuna bada devata nevata taji puja cha hiye jasa devata Sage Bharadwaja thought within himself that he is not an ordinary guest. We must offer hospitality to Bharata that that for which Bharata desires, not ordinary hospitality. We must offer puja according the quality of the Devata, God. While Bharata was, Bharadwaj was saying that, the divine Shaktis, all the Riddhis, and Siddhis, assuming human forms, they all presented themselves in this big job. It's a highly allegorical setting. The two aspects that Bharata is giving comfort to all the people from Ayodhya, according to their need, matching up to everyone's need. And that's his project as well as he is presenting a tremendous trial for Bharata. And Bharata has to pass that trial. Because he is presenting all types of happiness that that world can present 
under the guidance of guru under the guidance of a yogi of a great yogi yogis have the power of all types of powers if you are very advanced you don't go after receiving powers as the reward for your being a disciple you go after liberation that some giving you subtler meaning behind it in brief there is a whole picture of the role of riddhis and siddhis the entire forest suddenly changed muni pad band kariye sui aju hoi sukhi sab raj samaju do siddhi siddhi talked within themselves among themselves that let's do having adored the feet of bharadwaj let's perform our duty and present to all these people the best hospitality present to them best dwellings all that is needed amenities present them quarters couches trepary canopies groves gardens not only that birds and beasts not yet fragrant flowers and fruits lakes and ponds the entire picture is completely transformed i have said this which is being presented now in in the verses bhog vibhuti bhuri bhari rakhe dekhat ji nahi amara bhilase now those quarters had all those needed amenities and all types of luxuries that even gods were surprised how they have been made comfortable more comfortable than they are their heavenly world that's reflecting upon the power of the sage he presents he has all the bhoga enjoyments under control but the type of bhoga and intention behind it is to lead people beyond the beyond indra so indra's bhoga keeps people in the cycle of birth and death so bharadwaj controls the same bhoga but not to limit it to indra's world bhoga that opens the door so when you hear bharadwaj and all his power it plays presenting an insight into how to attain the source of all that power bharadwaj attained all this by liberation dasi das saju sabalinne jugavat rahi ma nahi manu dinne and all these people their luxury is being described they were given maid servants servants and all things needed to make their life so joyous sab samaj saji siddhi pal mahi ye sukh sur pur sapne ho nahi the type of enjoyment he presented to people he, that excels heavenly enjoy and ev prasama hi vas diye sab ke hi sundar sukhad jatha ruch ruchi je hi everyone was given 
the type of residence, the type of quarter that he liked, according to his life, according to his taste. Bahur sapari janap bharata kahum rishi asa ayadzhuk deen vidhi vishya maheda yaku vibhav muni bharata pa balakin and Bharata and all his near and dear ones we are given all this that we have described. Bharata was pleased to know that all the people were given perfect comfort. And all the comfort that was given Vidhi Vishabhaya, even Brahma was surprised because Brahma's creation relates to world enjoyed by law of karma, led by karmic process. No matter how prosperous you are, how wonderful palace, the wonderful couch, wonderful drapery, wonderful canopy, <laughs> wonderful grove, all Brahma's groves and etc. <laughs> a little compared to what Bharat, Bharatwaja had presented. Because Bharatwaja is pointing to Rama. And Rama is embodiment of liberation. Asana sayan subasana vitana banabhatika vihagamriganana Wonderful seats, wonderful beds, wonderful clothes, wonderful canopies, wonderful gardens, orchards, very variety of birds, wonderful pets, cats and dogs, <laughs> and wonderful jalasha, receptacle of water means with wells, tanks. Asana pana suchi ami ami se dekhi loga sagu chatu jami se and all the food and drink was so nectarine, sweet, delicious that even People who were very dispassionate, they were shaken. Sura Sura Bhi Sura Taru Sabahi Ke Lucky Abhilash Suresh Sachi Ke And everyone, every family got Kamadhenu, the wish he link out. And that's not enough. Kalpa Vriksha. The tree that confers everything that you want. Even Indra was tempted to have that type of thing. <laughs> See, Tushidas has gone into all these details. <laughs> the reader of stories, they go fast. <laughs> what does happen? Let them go through all this. Ritu basanta bahatri vidh bhaiyari sab kaha sulabh padarat achari And it's all. The weather turned, season changed into spring season. And the breeze that blew was three types, three aspects. Sheetal, mandu, subhand, cool, gentle, fragrant. And all the amenities, all the needed things given to people, what they were to satisfy four values of your life. Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. 
सत चंदन बनिता दिक भोगा देखी हर्ष विषय मै बस होगा एज वेल एज ऑल द प्लेजर्स दैट योर माइंड कैन इमेज नाउ देखी हर्ष विषय मै बस लोगा ऑल दिस प्रेजेंटेड बाय भरद्वाज brought joy and wonder in the minds of people the wonder here refers to they began to reflect within themselves what am i to do with all these enjoyments shreya and preya both were presented before their eyes shreya means following the path leading to liberation preya all the needed pleasures for your mind and senses when you have all there then now you are in a better position to decide your goal sampatti chakka ee bharatu chak muni ayas khelavar teinishi ashram pinjara राखे भाविनुसार ऑल द प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ दैट हॉस्पिटैलिटी ऑफ भरद्वाज ऑल द प्रॉस्पेरिटी दैट ही प्रेजेंटेड इज लाइक शी चातक बर्ड एंड भरता इज दी चातक फीमेल बर्ड एंड द मेल बर्ड This allegorical is nothing to do with the bird. <laughs> But what it means, if you put these two birds in a prison in a cage, they will not mate. They will remain separated. Simple. Point is, Bharata had nothing to do with all the, all the enjoyments presented to him. His mind was completely unshaken, and all this description is to give you how bhakti has to be tested, <laughs> and how bhakti. gain such internal wealth that all this becomes little and with this i'm going to om ram 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 राम 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 ओम ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओ प्रे फॉर शावर ऑफ करुणा मै रस ऑफ डिवाइन ग्रेस ओवर ऑल एंड मे ऑल बी लेड टू एन लाइटनमेंट मे ऑल बी ब्लेस्ड विथ anumati right understanding that turns away from all the pleasure and worldly glories and what what do you gain again by turning away from all this you gain immortality absolute perfection brahman brahma realization so with this om triambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvar kumva bandhanan mrityor mukshyam amritat om sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashch dukh bhag bhave ओम शांति शांति शांति
हरिओम सत्संग